So here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first UFC title? Fight? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever <laughs> felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to go chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part in getting this man to the spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. While self-belief is a powerful thing, he has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world. Tonight, he gets a chance to prove it. expect a Super Bowl feel in this arena here tonight because the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history, Conor McGregor, is back. The celebrities are out in droves, all of them to see the former two-division UFC champion, the notorious Conor McGregor. The stars always come out when the notorious one steps in the octagon, and he's earned that right. He is the biggest star in mixed martial arts, not only in mixed martial arts, but in, in sports across all platforms. One of the best fighters the UFC has ever seen. Not only a great fighter, but a great spokesman, a great salesman, and a guy that people always want to see. And DC, we know you move that celebrity needle, but you don't move it like Conor McGregor. Not like the notorious one. We talk so much about his star power and what he has done for the sport, and rightfully so, that sometimes we don't spend enough time talking about just how skilled a fighter this is when it comes to distance management, the striking skills. We'll see how it goes for him here in the return tonight. The biggest superstar this game has ever seen has graced the octagon. McGregor is ready to go. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. We send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the notorious Connor. So Herb Dean, third man in there for this one. So here is Conor McGregor once again. Is there any atmosphere in MMA quite like Conor McGregor fighting in this octagon? The Irish fans are going bananas. We'll see if Conor McGregor can take advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach here tonight. Nice job by Conor McGregor on the feet. You gotta think his longtime chief corner, John Cavanaugh, likes what he is seeing out of his pupil early tonight. Nice shot there by the champ. Well, few fighters manage distance as efficiently and as well as Conor McGregor, and there's that left hand finding its home early. Oh, he does a great job of setting you up, man. You saw it in the Jose Aldo fight. The guy will just step back a little bit and bang, drops the straight left on you that can end your night. He not only throws this fast, he also is so accurate, and that allows him to finish so many fights. Well, 
Well, you know the book on this guy, very cerebral and tactical on the feet, and there is that inside leg kick. Just a quick switch to the hips, and boom, inside leg kick lane. I mean, these guys are letting it fly. What a pace that they're fighting now. Yeah. Lands a nice jab there. Beautiful shot to the leg. Unable to connect it. Both guys appeared to land there. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up for me now. Just over three minutes to go round one. Oh, nice jab, nice stick. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Conor McGregor. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his track. Oh, big knee! Oh, this kid just about to it. Oh, he hurt him again! Back to the feet now. Oh, with authority, the body. Strong outside leg kick. Oh, big leg! Oh, both. Both landed. Trying to hammer that lead leg. That was a nice combination there. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. Oh, is he opened up now. Nasty cut on the bridge of the nose. Beautiful combination with the hands there. 90 seconds now to go in the round. He's going after the head. Very fast leg kick lands for him. Swing and a big miss by McGregor. to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. That lesson is nasty. Oh, he lands that tee. Strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. Round two straight ahead. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. And what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body. He throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. Ready. Ready. All right, round two. Fast leg kick lands. Man, that Conor McGregor left hand is just an absolute... 
absolute piston and it lands in. It's like an atabot. Like he hits people and they oh! Just out of range with that right hook. Oh, nice strike by McGregor there. I mean, Conor McGregor is a fantastic striker, and once again, that skill is on display. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is... Oh! And he's looking for that left hand. Just missed. Oh, hit kick blocked, though, by Connor. All right, so now we start to see some bruises appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan, and it's working. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the leg. strike right there, right on the previously damaged nose. No surprise to see the fighter continue to attack that part of the opposition. Man, that is loud. Another strike lands for the kickboxer. He really found that flow state pretty early in this fight, and he hasn't looked back. He found it really early. And when this guy gets into his groove, he is on the wheels. And right now he is showing why he is such a high-level, high-regarded Kickboxer. He is outclassing this guy. Well, when you're dealing with a cut like that, it may not be long before it starts to impact the breathing. Not a good spot to be in here. Oh! Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You'd think he's got to go in and just get him out of there. Well, he's trying. Oh! Another knockdown! Well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. McGregor's pretty swollen now in that jaw area. It doesn't appear to be affecting him all that much, but he's absorbed a lot of strikes to the head. Got to figure out a way to raise the guard and be more defensively sound. Got to be careful there. Lands with the ground and pound. These ground strikes are starting to add up. Oh, good movement to avoid that strike from the top. Oh. Moving his head here on the ground, champ. I mean, this guy is very active off. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Oh, he's flat him on his back now. Thirty seconds to go in the round. What a great sequence by him mixing up his strikes and once again targeting that already damaged swollen area upstairs. That's exactly what he should do. You know, we are talking about a guy that is so talented, that is so disciplined, that when he can see swelling like that, he's going to continue to attack. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. Another strike gets through from the top position. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, we're going to stay with him and follow him back to the corner to the stool because that is a really severe cut that he is dealing with. 
Right. We'll see if the cut man can stem the bleeding here. This is going to happen. We expected that war. Refocus. All right, let us now get you some replays of all the damage done in that previous round, including the strike that opened up the cut. Yeah, some nasty strikes landed over the course of that round, and it opened up a nasty cut. He has got to find a way to change some things defensively, or that cut is just going to get worse and worse. And the worse it gets, the more he runs the risk of this fight getting stopped. Ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, so next round underway here, and you've got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Right hand, then a left. Well, that strike landed, not going to help that cut at all. And I think for a lot of us non-fighters, it becomes hard to watch that area just continue to get targeted and bludgeoned. Over and over again. And it's what you're supposed to do as a fighter. You can't have heart as a fighter. you got to look at that thing. you got to look at that work that you've done. you got to take that canvas and you got to paint it, man. you got to get at him over and over again and continue to attack that same area. Real hard to after the fight. But right now, he's got to pay the price. Oh, his foot's all messed up. Let's go. Let's open up that cut a little bit more. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, diving punch lands. Mm, that was nice. And he is back up to his feet. What a great fight. Damage doled out on both sides. Perhaps some bonus money coming the way of these two individuals at 19. 50K, baby. Somebody's getting paid. These two guys are doing a great job in a fight that is so competitive, that is so evenly matched. These two really will be proud of the effort that they have shown inside the octagon today. Oh, nice. Oh, well, the local hospital might be busy later tonight. What an absolute war this has been. The Cutmen have done a pretty good job, but both guys are leaking in the face area. Yeah, they're working full. They're working full tonight. I mean, the Cutmen are having to try to piece these two together after every single round. But this has been fun. This has been a fun fight between two incredibly tough mixed martial artists, and they are laying it on the line. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Well, at this point, that is as bad a cut as I have seen in some time. I think you got to call in the ringside physician. It's hard to watch. John, like, that's why I turn my face when I see stuff like this. It's disgusting. It's like Overeem's lip. Yeah. It's like when we see these types of cuts like this, it's hard for me to watch because I know that the only thing that can happen is the person gets more and more damaged. Oh, McGregor's cut right on the bridge of his nose. Does not look good, folks. We'll continue to keep an eye on it. And you got to think the ringside physician will, too. Referee might call him in here in short order. <laughs> Trying to kick the leg out. Man, it's hurt bad. It's hurt bad. Here's Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 10 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, El Terrible. So how
how about this? We have a new UFC heavyweight champion of the world. I think that guy beats Daniel Cormier. I, think I mean, he does. this guy beats anybody. I'm telling you right now, he is the king of the world for a reason. The number one heavyweight in the world, a guy that possesses knockout power, confidence, and heart. It's going to be very difficult to take this belt away from this champ.